Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add items with priority to queue. So we have this Excel file and in this one we have around 9 to 10 records available and we have application number, lender name, loan amount and the application step. So this Excel file that we are going to use that is same as the previous one that is the loan origination steps. We have generally three priority, high priority, medium priority, low priority. In blue prism, we have this based on the number. High priority, number is zero. Medium priority, number is one. Low priority, number is two. Lower the number is, higher the priority. And it's not like we have only three, zero, one, two. You can also increase that number. Blue Prism is giving you the option to increase the number to 90, up to 99, I think. But basically, we have only 0, 1, and 2. So let me show you how to add items with the priority to Q. I'm going to add these items to Q. So we have this Process Studio. Let me take Get Excel as a Collection page. Select create a reference to an existing page we have this get excel as a collection this page we are going to take this page we are going to use to read the data from excel file from this excel and write to one collection now double click on this page go to output store this order collection value into one other collection because we are going to take this value from this get excel collection page and we are going to store this value in this add items with priority to queue page so we'll write here orders underscore collection so we are going to store the this value in the same collection so click on this button to create this collection now this has been created here now after this adding this data to collection we need to take one action stage to add the items to queue so double click here from business object select walk queues and from this action take here add to queue now here we have options we have parameters like queue name and parameter so here we'll pass the param that queue name that is loan origination underscore Q and here we have an option where we can put that priority in a number so it will accept number this is optional if you are not passing any value so by default items will be added to Q with zero priority it means with high priority and if you want to add this especially with any priority you can mention the number here so let's say I'm going to put here one so that will be a medium priority and from this data collection we have to take this order collection so this data we are going to add to Q now click OK now currently I'm showing you the simple way just to add item with the priority with a sim one priority to Q now after this one I will show you how to add items with multiple priority based on any decision let me first run this one let me close this now right click set next stage let me increase the debug speed step over step over so it will read the data store the data in the this collection so we have nine records here in this collection now once we'll pass through this this item is now added to queue with medium priority with number one refresh this go to Q control room here refresh this and now you can see here all these items added with priority one it means with the priority medium now let me delete that and now I'm going to show you how to add items with that with the different different priority so what we can do for that let me after reading the data from excel we have to take one loop here this loop we are going to read the data uh, from this collection loop through each 
row from this collection and then we'll add this to other collection so let me take one more collection here and this collection is for priority underscore Q take here three parameters three fields first I'm going to take as an application number and that will be text second I'm going to take as a lender name that will be also text third I'm going to take one tag name so along with adding the items with the priority I will also show in the tag like what is the priority name like this is high priority or low priority or medium priority so this is the additional column I'm just adding here so that it will help you to uh, to understand that now click on single row so one by one data will take from this collection and add to queue now double click on this loop start and we'll write here loop start orders collection select here order collection click OK now link here and then here we'll take one multi calc stage so it will take data from here and then we'll pass to we'll write data from this collection to this priority queue collection so for that add three fields here one will take from this order collection and store to this priority queue so we'll take order collection dot application name application number second we'll take lender so these two value we are going to take and this value we are going to store in this priority dot application number and then priority queue dot lender add to collection now click OK after this we'll take one choice stage and then based on our lender name I want to set the priority so my example is if my lender name is JP Morgan then item should be added with a high priority and if lender name is equal to Wells Fargo so items should be added with medium priority like that so for that type of scenario instead of taking decision stage we can take a choice stage here double click and choice name is lender here we'll take three one that is JP Morgan second that is Wells Fargo third that is we are going to take as a now here we'll write down the expression this JP Morgan that we are getting from this lender name so order collection dot lender equals to JP Morgan so this JP Morgan is just the choice name but it will go through based on this condition so copy and paste everywhere now replace the lender name so we have three JP Morgan Wells Fargo and HSBC now click OK now take here in this way and we'll take one by one here lender name so if this is JP Morgan so we'll take multi calc here double click here here we'll say if this is JP Morgan so priority should be zero so item should be added with zero priority it means high priority so this will for high priority store this in a one 
stage data item stage that is priority now add one more and now this time we'll say this is high priority and this I'm going to write because this one I'm going to add to Q and that will be added in tag so we'll take here priority dot Q dot tag so this will be added to this one now copy this and now copy same thing paste here paste here as well link this JP Morgan Wells Fargo and HSBC okay so this will be our medium priority M E D I U M copy this and now replace here with the high now put here one now click OK double click here enter here two and this will be your low priority and replace here also now click OK so now we have three multi calc stage for the high priority medium priority and low priority so if we have data which is coming from order collection if that is JP Morgan's data lender name is JP Morgan so item will be added with the high priority so every time based on the scenario we are just passing our value to the priority here to the priority this data item stage now we'll take here one add items to queue instead of taking three we can take only one and just link everything here with the add items to queue at a time we'll get only one row of data and we'll add here now double click here and now instead of taking value from this a uh, hard coded value will take directly from this data item this priority now we'll also pass the tags and this tag will be taking from this priority queue to tag right now click OK so we have three choice otherwise so what will be in the otherwise so in the otherwise what we can do we can say other than this if we are getting any data so the data should be added with the priority high or you can say low priority and in that scenario there should not be any tag or if you want you can say that okay 2 is for the low priority so you can put here low right now click OK now take here loop and and take here and stage here now we are ready to run that one so right click set next stage close this one now set next stage uh, step over so we have currently nine records here you can see and based on the lander our items will be passed here let me link this this is not linked here now it will take one by one and here in this one it will add the data it will take the data from order collection and pass to the priority queue collection and you can see here now data is added here so that is 100 HSBC but tag is not added because tag will now be added from here now come here so this is low priority so you'll see here priority number is 2 and the name of this priority is low priority so if you'll see here now we have added this low priority double click here and now delete this data and take this data from priority queue because now we are going to take one by one row of data we are going to add to queue now click OK and now run this now you see here we have high priority medium priority run this this is done refresh that go to queue refresh this queue and you can see here we have nine records and each items has a tags name and priority so this one so this item with the low priority number is 2 tag 2 
102 this is second number this is priority with the high priority and name is high so by this way you can add priority to Q and also you can add items with different different priority to Q so I hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn UiPath RPA then you can visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash UiPath RPA if you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy so I have created one course for Blue Prism RPA complete course on Udemy so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there I will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that I hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video